I'm not going to take the pawn this time, just do our old tried and tested. Let's bring the bishop here in this type of opening. So let's just push as we do. So just doing exactly what we would do in our usual game. So the captured captured. I thought they would have gone here, but they've obviously done a little bit of a blitzy move. So I'm going to take the pawn now and castle. Okay, so we've both moved fairly quickly. Going to bring the knight here, out to come back in type thing. Let's just attack the bishop. Let's push the pawn now, sort of stopping the knight from jumping to these squares at the moment. And we can rest easy at this point and think what we want to do. I want to kind of just attack the knight here and just get the pawns out of the way. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to attack the knight, take, open up the space, look for the exchanges of the rooks. I can't see a problem with that. That's as basic as I would like to play the game, but if the opponent wants to complicate it, then we will have to try and uncomplicate the complication that they're going to try and make. Simplification of the complication. They're now taking the time. So they're probably thinking about tactics now at this point. And I don't like tactics. So if I was going to think that I was doing tactics, I'd probably go, well, am I just doing pattern recognition type stuff? So they have actually taken. They've taken all that time to think of that. And like we said, we're looking to potentially go for a trade with the Rooks. So I'm going to continue with that. They're looking for a pawn push here, but we can take the pawn. So attacking their Rook. They're really going slow now. Okay. So I'm going to take the Rook. And then I'm going to attack the Queen. I'm looking for simplification, looking for trades. They might look to be a bit arty, bring the Queen here. So then the Rook comes here. We can do the same. But there's no airs and graces. I don't want the air. Oh, so what they've done is, in essence, we can't go there anymore. So we can take, but then their rook is going to be owning the file, isn't it? So can we prevent that first? Is there anything that we can do to prevent that? I've always been eyeing this bishop up coming here, but it's not doing anything too major at the minute. If it goes there, then we do have the potential to push onto their bishop. But if the rook comes and attacks it, why have I brought the bishop here in the first place? Do I come back and attack their knight? Or do I bring my bishop here to still mount an attack on their bishop? Looks like an interesting situation. I think I might still go with it. It looks interesting to me because it's getting my piece working. At the minute, it's, it's stuck on the king's side. You know, it's giving my king some company. No problems with that. I think we want to do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this manoeuvre. And depending on what the opponent does, will depend on what we do next. We are planning this, but we think the rook is just going to attack. So we can bring the bishop back here, still with the intention of pushing onto their bishop. So it's trying to make my dormant pieces a little bit active. Okay, so they're not doing that. They're looking to press onto our bishop, it looks like here. All right, so in the meantime, let's hit this bishop. Let's not rush because there, then obviously he's just going to come and attack, but then he loses the bishop, doesn't he, in a sense. All right, so let's continue with the pawn push onto the bishop. It can go here as well, and it can go there as well, but I think probably here. Then we can attack the bishop. doesn't have to take. It can just dance around with the bishop. He might even go there to then push his pawn down. So we're going to attack the bishop. Like I said, he might go there so that he's got the opportunity of pushing his pawn down. Interesting. So the queen's gone now supporting the bishop. So we could just take the bishop off the board. The queen is here. Then we go and attack their queen, see if there's an exchange going. At the moment, our bishop is bad, but 
we are on white square, so we will have maneuverability with the bishop. So I think that's the way we're going to go. Just going to simplify capture and bring the queen up and attack the queen. They look a bit risk averse, but maybe they will take. Then we'll take here. It's not, oh, he's bringing his pawn into the center. Is that to their benefit at all? Could bring the rook here, looking to attack the queen and then attacking the pawn. He brings his rook behind. We take, pawn, rook takes, whichever. So somehow, somewhere, let's just bring the rook here. He does bring the rook there, let's take. Does the rook take or does the pawn take? Rook takes, let's take the uh, rook off the board. Now we have two linked pawns here. And we might have a bit of an issue, but let's just continue with this pawn push here. Looking to bring the bishop, ooh, bring the bishop around, attacking this pawn that has no protection. So I'm assuming it's going to drop. So then we can take. Not sure if there's enough support for getting them up for a promotion, but we can we can see. Okay, so the knight's coming down, and he's, has he got a fork on our king? We're going to take the pawn anyway. So he's attacking this pawn. We could attack this pawn. His knight can take, pawn takes, but then it's a bit close towards his king. So if we push up, yeah, we push up, knight comes around attacking this pawn. This pawn pushes up. Yeah, okay, let's push up. Or maybe it comes here. No, it's not going anywhere. Hmm, okay, interesting times. Right, so going to have to try and do this and try and push it up a bit. Uh, give it one push, but the knight's probably going to jump. Oh, the king is fast enough, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, interesting. Let's hit this pawn. Don't need to get carried away, do we? Let's just take this pawn. Let's push this pawn a bit. Now it's blocking the way, so the pawn's going to be taken. Could take, oh, if we take, but then he takes with the pawn, not the king. Damn it. What's the pawn structure looking like? We're looking at trying to get this out of the way. Okay, I tell you what, we push here because these pieces are on the other side of the board. So if the king takes, then we can push and push and push. Okay, so we can push this pawn. Now it looks like it's going to get its glory. Um, I don't think the knight's fast enough to come over there and get it, is it? One, two, maybe it is. Um, one, two. Oh, and it looks like they've left the game. So it looks like the pawn would have been fast enough after all. So that to me, that was really, I like that game. Because um, we did focus on, we'll claim victory on that. We did focus on simplifying the complications if there were any. And so throughout the whole of the game, it was the attempt at going for that simplification of any complications whatsoever. I think having a plan or a strategy of some sort, an idea as to how you want to go into your game, um, does help you. And also being able to change it at any given moment. So if the simplification didn't work, we would have to work with the complication if there was any complications in there. But because we had like a, a, a plan, a strategy of how we wanted to deliver the game based on what the opponent actually delivered as well, um, we would be able to focus on better moves as far as I'm concerned anyway. Good game.